Oh my Capricorns, welcome to your love reading for a July 2023. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorder or a live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, Game, please spread your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorns for love for July 2023. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your heart? I'll become closer to universe and closer to divine. Can you please show me love energies for Capricorns prior to July? We have the Emperor card in the right. Alrighty, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling in that spread. Uh, something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else. We have the four of a dragonflies in reverse for a July. In my playlist here, 2024, sun mood readings, put your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. 2023s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or for somebody else. And we end on the devil card in the upright, which is your card, the card of Capricorn. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, and donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Let's see what's going on. So Capricorn's Emperor card in the upper right is the card of Aries. This is the energies prior to July. I get the sense that somebody is coming in. You did meet somebody. Very strong individual, a force to be reckoned with. This person likes things a certain way. Um, not that they're necessarily a, a bad person. It's just somebody who is make sure that everything's running as it should be running. Uh, their expectation are, is that rules are followed, um, that respect is had. A uh, really great provider. They're, they're totally capable of taking care of themselves and taking care of other people. Um, but as I said, they run a very, a very uh, uh, tight ship, so to speak. So um, these are just some of the attributes I feel that this person has um, that showed themselves to you prior to July. Now, in um, July here with the four of dragonflies, I almost feel as though, I'm not sure whether it's you or this other person, um, but I feel like it's more of them. Um, they feel like an opportunity has presented itself to them and they plan on kind of making something happen. Um, because I feel like they don't want you to slip away. So I do feel like, um, I feel like they're interested in you. Um, I think they know that other people are interested in you, so I feel like they're going to make a play in July to let you know that, um, you know, that they're interested and, um, like I said, they want to make it known and they want to be present in that regard. Um, try, they might kind of hesitate for a while. I feel as though they're going to, they're going to kind of hang out for a little while before they do something, but I think once they have the realization that there might be other people interested or, or there's a chance that you might move on, that's where they're going to actually do something about it and make the emotional connection. Now, my concern is with this devil card in the upright because, um, not a lot of good things with the devil card. This is either telling me that this person, um, as you move out of July and August, you discover that there's a dark side to them. So they could actually be an addict. Uh, they could have obsessions. They could have, um, you know, um, things that they're fixated on. They could want to bind you to them. So meaning, you know, chain themselves to you or try to chain you to them so that you can't, you're really um, unable to kind of do anything and you're kind of powerless. So I really don't like what I'm seeing here. I almost feel like they turn. I almost feel like here um, they're very assertive. They're very strong. Um, and, and it's borderline. It's borderline being aggressive. And here I think like going out of July and August, you're really going to see a different side of them that's going to cause you to be really cautious. So why is Emperor card in the upright for Capricorn's energy is prior to July? Who's this person? What's this energy? Why are you showing me the Emperor card in the upright? Okay, we have the uh, because this person's very much into working very hard. Whatever they whatever they uh, work hard for, they attain. So they have levels in life that they hope to achieve and they always achieve them. So I feel like they're very focused in that regard and that's just kind of their general persona. Um, I think they do have a tendency to talk you out of things or they did have a tendency to talk you out of things. So if you had a stance on something, they were very good at kind of getting you to um, either, you know, um, you know, change your stance or um, you know, get you to backpedal on things. Um, they have this kind of oppressive nature to them. Um, 
that can cause them to do that. Um, the tower card in the upright, I think because of this dynamic, this uh, connection could be starting on a very rocky foundation. They could eventually implode, um, which is what we could uh, be seeing here. Um, there could be an indication of that. I mean, I, I almost get this sense prior to July, there's something about this person that makes you feel uncomfortable. Um, I, I do think you see a lot of really good qualities about them, but I just think there's something that's kind of tipping you off where it seems awry. Um, why is the four of dragonflies here in the reverse for Capricorns? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, so I do feel like they advanced and I feel like you were trying to slow things down. You're trying to say, what's the rush? You're trying to pump the brakes saying, you know, this isn't, we don't need to move this quickly. I'm not in any kind of rush. And the reason why with the moon card in reverse, which is the card of Pisces, is you're really starting to see traits about this person clear as day that you know are not uh, making you comfortable, um, not uh, compatible in regards to what you're looking for. So I think the more you get to know this person, the more things are going to come out that you're going to realize that it's going to be a hard no. And here they are advancing with the page of cups and the upright. So I, I do think they're going to um, extend an offer to you um, in July and they're going to say, hey, do you want to get something going with me? I really like you, you know, things of that nature. Um, I think you hold off in my opinion. Why is this devil card here in the upright as Capricorns? Yeah, there's a thing about this person where they like people too. They like to be in control. They like to be the one telling people what to do. Um, I don't know, I'm getting like sadomasochism, kind of weird stuff going on. Whatever it is tipping you off, again, you aren't feeling comfortable. You don't feel like you're gonna be victorious in this connection. You feel as though you're gonna be lesser than. Um, you're definitely having doubts. With the Hermit card in the upright, which is a card of Virgo, you're kind of going within and getting some clarity and kind of propping yourself up a little bit. Um, having some self-examination, uh, wondering how you got into this and what you're going to do now that you're kind of into, into this, I think, and trying to, um, you know, come up with answers. And then with the Page of Pentacles or Reverse, this person's acting like they already have ownership over you. Uh, they're like, ha ha ha, this person wants me, you know, they want me, you know, they're going to end up with me, like that kind of flippant attitude, um, really kind of arrogant. So I, I think they're really going to turn you off um, July going into August, um, but we'll see. So <laughs> that's what I have for you. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling and in that spread I'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else. In my playlist for your 2024 a sun moon readings put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2023s are still in there see if they rang true for you or somebody else and then finally look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise Capricorns I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.